I'm 11 Alive Storm Tracker Meteorologist Melissa Nord in Atlanta, Georgia. March 23rd is World Meteorological Day, and we're not just celebrating the weather, but we're celebrating the ocean, our climate and the weather this year on World Meteorological Day. And did you know those three things are interconnected and the ocean plays a huge influence on what happens with our weather and what happens with our climate and our changing climate over years and years and years. And that's because, well, it covers about 70% of the Earth's surface and it holds a lot of heat in it as well. In fact, about 90% of our human carbon emissions, the heat from our human carbon emissions is contained in the ocean. So if we didn't have the ocean, the impacts of climate change would be happening rapidly, much, much, much more quicker. But it influences our weather and it influences our climate. So I wanna talk about one of these facets and how the ocean can influence our weather, not just on a short-term trend, but also on a seasonal trend. And one of those is through what our sea surface temperatures are doing in parts of the ocean. And we wanna look at the equatorial Pacific part of the ocean for ENSO, the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Now you've probably heard of this, El Nino and La Nina. This is what we have due to trade winds, temperatures on the surface of the ocean, right near the equator there in the Pacific that are cooler than normal or warmer than normal. If they're cooler than normal, we have a La Nina phase of ENSO. If they're warmer than normal, we have an El Nino. And when we have these cooler or warmer than normal temperatures, they can end up changing the orientation of our jet stream, which is basically where the storm tracks are, where the storms end up going. So what does that do? Well, in winter time, this can mean who ends up seeing a lot more snow, who ends up seeing a milder winter. It can influence big time El Nino, how much wind shear we end up having for a hurricane season and leading to a more active or less active hurricane season, depending on the phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. And it can also end up influencing our look at severe weather season in the south. 